everyone, my name is Miss Jessica and I am the director of Kindergarten English here at Ambassador Bilingual School. In this video today we are going to be talking about our K2 level for this coming academic year. At the moment we have five K2 classrooms. Our K2A seahorse room, our K2B dolphin room, our K2 International A Pirate Room, our K2 International B Dragon Room, and our K2 International C The Shark Room. Each room is capped at 20 students per class, and each class has one assistant and one teacher to look after the children. K2 has two programs, we have our bilingual program, which means the students have half of their classes in English and half in Thai. And we have our international program, which means the students will be with their English homeroom teacher for most of the time. And then two times per week, a Thai teacher will come to give them some basic lessons in Thai language. For English, we use some very basic workbooks from the Hop Onto series, which is the series we use for all levels of kindergarten. For K2, we use them for vocabulary building, writing practice, some simple math concepts, and some simple science concepts. We use the Hop Onto curriculum for both our international and our bilingual programs. For international classes, we additionally use the Jolly Phonics curriculum, which gives the students a little more practice in their pre-reading and writing. For our Thai curriculum, the Thai teachers use the guidance of the Thai government standards to create developmentally appropriate learning outcomes in their classrooms. So in K2, the students will start to have sports lessons with our wonderful PE teacher, Master Bill. They will have their PE lessons one time per week outside in the playground. Our students are continually observed throughout the school year and each term a report card will be written about the progress of each child. These assessments and reports are based on the Thai government standards for education in young learners. In K2 there will also be homework sent home daily to reinforce the lessons that we have in the classroom. So the most important thing for our students is that they are actively participating in the lessons. So at ABS we try to make our lessons very fun and hands-on using lots of dance, music, art and lots of playtime both inside and outside of the classroom. We also have regular uh, activities scheduled such as our sports week, our children's day activity and our annual Christmas show. Let's talk a little bit about the daily routine now. So our drop-off time is between 8 to 8.30 in the morning. The students will have a quick health check with the school nurse at the front gate and then they will wash their hands before going into the classrooms. We have a morning assembly which starts after 8.30 every day in the playground area. During the assembly we will sing the Thai national anthem and then we will sing and dance to some English songs together. The students will then get ready for classes by going to the bathroom, washing their hands and drinking their water before class begins. Our first class starts at 9 o'clock in the morning. Then our second morning class is at 10.30 and we have another afternoon class which is at 2 o'clock. We have two snack break times throughout the day. The first snack break is after our first morning class where the students will have a milk box or a juice box which is brought from home and the school will provide some fruit for the students to eat. Our second snack break time is in the afternoon just before pickup time where again the students will have their milk or juice from home and the school provides a snack for each student. So we also have a lunch break time where the students will have their lunch either in the canteen or in the classroom, just depending on our COVID regulations at the time when we open the term. 
So our lunch is usually around about 11.30 for K2. And once they are all cleaned up after lunch, the students will come back and take a nap in the classroom. Our pickup time is from three o'clock in the afternoon onwards. And we do ask that all parents inform the teachers when they are almost at school so we can have the students ready to go home. The things that we ask you to bring to school in the child's backpack would be two boxes of milk or juice for snack times, one bottle of water, some indoor slippers, and if you would like, a spare change of clothes. We have a school nurse on duty in our kindergarten at all times. In case of any illness, we will ask families to come and pick up their child from our first aid room. We also have some extra COVID regulations at the moment for the safety of our students and staff. So for now, parents are not allowed inside the school building. We also ask that during pickup and drop off times that parents remain inside the vehicles. And we ask that families send 80K tests every Sunday before coming to school on Monday to keep everyone safe. We also have regular hand washing throughout the day at school and we make sure that students and teachers all wear masks while at work and at school. At the moment, we also are not allowing students to brush their teeth after snack times or lunch times. So if you would like to contact your class teachers or the office, the school uses the LINE app. Every class group will have its own LINE account and this will be updated by the teachers daily with the classroom activities. Once a week, teachers will also reach out individually to families to discuss student progress. If parents would like to contact the assistants or the teachers, they can also message them online personally. And if families would like to talk with the management team in the office, they can contact us on the kindergarten office line account. We are always happy to answer any questions that you may have. So thank you everyone for taking the time to watch this video today. I hope you found it helpful. And again, if you have any questions, then you can reach out to us and we will give you more information. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.